I guess most people, perhaps until five or so years ago, the general public would, when they think of jazz, they, they might think of Louis Armstrong or uh, Duke Ellington or some of those sorts of names from the past. And then more recently, uh, people like uh, Nora Jones have perhaps sort of brought a jazz element into, into popular music. Mm -hmm. And so that's sort of broadened out our conception of what jazz is. Are there different sort of categories? Can you categorize jazz in different ways into, into different schools of well, style or something? I like to be terribly careful about that. I mean, thinking of Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington is a fabulous place to be. I mean, they, they are uh, examples of absolute masters of the form. And I think it's fair to say that, that the most serious students of jazz study those people, you know, as heroes and masters. So there is that element. But at the same time, throughout uh, pop music, um, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, there were lots of pop performers that were very influenced by jazz and had that kind of contextual mastery that I'm talking about. Um, Stevie Wonder is very rooted in jazz and is a, is a great jazz musician when he cares to be. And um, the same with Steely Dan and all sorts of kind of, uh, I would say, kind of more advanced pop musicians tended to have a jazz element, a true jazz element, improvised solos and a, a more profound understanding of harmony. And there's been quite a lot of cross-fertilization, hasn't there? There's been sort of Miles Davis doing the sort of more rock sure. thing and, mm -hmm. and, and vice versa. Yeah, and I think that that's, that's the thing, you know, when I think of artists like Pat Metheny, who I think is brilliant, you know, bringing those elements of, um, of, of contemporary music and contemporary thought into what you're doing. I, I you know, I'm not a, a, a big purist about those things. I think that people have to do what's sincere for them. But um, at the same time, if you love something, you want to achieve excellence in it. There's several purposes that have to be, have to be served. One is I need to sit down. And the second that's even more important is that you have to see my great shoes. <laughs> Now I want us to pretend that we're not in a concert hall, we're in a little smoky jazz club. I'm here to tell you that Alan has spent a little time in such places. Uh, now and then. So I'm taking a load off and we're going to do this. Oh, you and the night and the music fill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. Oh, uh, you and the night and the music thrilled me, but will we uh, be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawning and daylight, our hearts will be throbbing guitars. Morning may come uh, without warning and take away the stars. But if we uh, must live for the moment, look till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I? Have you around the night and the music fill me with flaming desires, getting my being completely on fire? You and the night and the music thrill me, but, but will we be one after the night and the music are done? Until the pale light of dawning and daylight, our hearts will be dropping guitars. Morning may come without warning and take a away the stars. If we must live for the moment, not till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I have you?
for Advent. Setting my being completely on fire You and the night and the music Through me the world we are the one After the night and the music are done Until the pale outline of dawning And daylight our hearts will be throbbing in tires Morning may come without warning And take away the stars But if we must live for the moment Love till the moment is through After the night and the music die Will I Gibson, and of course, Alan Broadbent.